Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important session regarding the insolvency and bankruptcy code IBC 2016. Very important in this session I am also going to cover the amendments to this uh, code. Amendments bhi aai hain, we are also going to cover that. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I have been teaching on bank exam study from last 12 years. And SBA CBO 2023 course is already available on bankexamstudy.com and we are providing video classes and notes, live quizzes, mock test and weekly sessions okay <clears throat> this is my whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts okay so let's start the session what is insolvency and bankruptcy code so just focus on the content not exactly on me okay uh, let's just focus here so let's move forward to what is ibc insolvency and bankruptcy code what it is actually heck yeah ye? So before IBC, there were multiple laws uh, to tackle the bankruptcy uh, legal process, right? So now it has been, uh, you know, compiled, I would say, yeah, ek hi isko unify kar diya, the whole process. Now the process of bankruptcy is standardized. That's the best word. Best standardization is there. It's the best sentence me isko clear kiya. So insolvency, what is the difference between insolvency and bankruptcy? Insolvency is a condition in which the debtor is unable to pay his or her debts. That's a condition. And bankruptcy is a legal process, the standardized process that involves an, an insolvent person or company that is unable to pay its debt. The standardized process by which the, the company sold the liquidation is done the assets of the uh, of the company is sold in the market of the borrower is sold in the market if you are insolvent the liquidation is done or there is a turnaround plan so aage bhi hum karenge. it's a clear faster insolvency procedure it is standardized okay we are going to learn the process so it's a standardized process. It analyzes the, uh, the debtor's viability as a business decision. So the creditors, they might agree to the plan for his resurrection or a quick liquidation. Agar to dekho business continue karne wala hai, to creditor bolenge kar lo continue. Otherwise a liquidation, right? So most of the times liquidation is the, is the route. Okay, so there are various parties involved. Insolvency professionals are there. Obviously, once the uh, insolvency proceedings are started, uh, the insolvency professionals, they take over the assets of the borrower, right? Uh, so that if the borrower is the asset uh, under him, then he'll, he'll start selling it. So the insolvency professionals, they, they take over the assets of the, of the borrower, okay? So that he may not sell the assets in the market him, himself nito khud hi bech booch ke aa jayega market mein right uh, and these insolvency professionals they are uh, they are uh, registered with the insolvency and bankruptcy board which oversees the insolvency professionals sometimes there are agencies are there for the insolvency professionals information utilities are there they maintain the track of the debts owned to the creditors adjudicating authorities are there nclt is there drt is there for individual and partnership firms, there is DRT, Debt Recovery Tribunal. And for companies and corporate and limited liability firms, there is NCLT, National Company Law Tribunals. Okay. For CIRP, the minimum, uh, see, uh, up till uh, this amendment, for CIRP, the default amount was 1 lakh, right? Uh, and it has been uh, increased to 1 crore rupees. So 1 crore rupee, rupee is the minimum default amount for CIRP. Theke, amendment hai, just mein pre package insolvency resolution process we are going to do for CIRP the minimum default amount is one crore rupees procedure for uh, CIRP. So once the default is there, ek bar jab default ho jata hai, then appointment of a of an insolvency professional is there. After the default, uh, the insolvency professional is hired, uh, then there is a moratorium period of 180 days which may be extended to 270 days, 90 days ka extension diya ja sakta hai, there can be an extension of 90 days, okay. Uh, then the credit uh, committee is formed, okay. <clears throat> if that number used to be 75%, but now it is 66%, if 66% uh, of the creditors, they, they approved the a plan, 
अगर वो एक प्लान अप्रूव करते हैं द टर्न अराउंड ऑफ द बिजनेस बिजनेस टर्न अराउंड प्लान देन इम्प्लीमेंट दैट बिजनेस प्लान अदरवाइज सेल ऑफ द एसेट्स एंड लिक्विडेट एवरी थिंग एंड द बैंक दे आर गोइंग टू टेक द मनी जितने भी आते हैं ठीक है सो दैट इज अ सिंपल प्रोसेस सिक्सटी सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द क्रेडिटर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द वैल्यू वैल्यू ऑफ लोन्स ओके सो दिस इज नॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू द नॉट एवरी क्रेडिटर इज इक्वल सो द वैल्यू ऑफ द क्रेडिटर द वोटिंग पावर ऑफ क्रेडिटर इज इक्वल टू देयर देयर लोन अमाउंट ओके सो आई होप दैट इज क्लियर नाउ प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस दिस इज रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड दिस इज फॉर सी आई आर पी दिस इज नॉट फॉर प्री पैकेज इंसॉलवेंसी ओके सो वॉट इज प्री पैकेज इंसॉलवेंसी रेजोल्यूशन फॉर एम एस एम ई देर इज प्री पैकेज इंसॉलवेंसी रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसीजर्स Uh, if the default amount is 10 lakh but up to 1 crore uh, the pre package insolvency resolution would be implemented if it is more than 1 crore to aapka the corporate insolvency resolution process to hai hai right so uh, pprp is a type of restructuring in which creditors debtors collaborate they collaborate they do a lot of homework right to come up with a plan financial creditors will consent to the terms of a possible investor under this method so they'll they'll try to find out the financial creditors they will try to find out a possible investor under this method okay and they will also see clearance for the ncld for the settlement plan so the resolution plan however cannot be submitted directly to ncld before submitting the plan it must be approved by टू थर्ड और सिक्सटी सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल क्रेडिटर्स हु आर अनरिलेटेड टू द कॉर्पोरेट डेटर्स सो टू थर्ड ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल क्रेडिटर्स दे मस्ट अप्रूव द प्लान ओके विच आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू द कॉर्पोरेट डेटर सो मिनिमम डिफॉल्ट अमाउंट आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू टेन लैक्स मैक्सिमम वन करोर मोरिटोरियम पीरियड इज ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड हेयर ओके द डेटर विल बी ग्रांटेड अ मोरिटोरियम पीरियड which is generally 30 days initiation of CIRB and right now we are talking about the pre package insolvency resolution process please understand this is it is very important applicable to corporate debtor CIRB PIRB MSMEs theek hai so uh, priority to CIRB uh, only if CIRB has been com- uh, commenced jo uh, PPIRB hai it generally gets the priority minimum default 1 crore minimum default is 10 lakh share maximum 1 crore in pre packaged no preliminary work has to be done in the corporate insolvency resolution preliminary work has to be done special resolution has to be passed approved by at least 2/3 of the financial creditors name of resol- uh, resolution professional base resolution plan has to be passed other prescribed information that has to be done a uh, following person can initiate cirp financial creditors operational creditors or corporate debtors themselves they can initiate the cirp only the corporate themselves can initiate cirp okay the corporate themselves the debtor himself can initiate the cirp time limit is 180 days uh, for the completion of cirp additional 90 days can be given to the cirp time limit for the completion of ppirp is 120 days constitution of uh, the committee of creditors is within 30 days for cirp for pprp it is 7 days only okay now let's do some questions asked in the previous paper and they are really really important uh, so ibc has been adopted and creditor in control model has been adopted for cirp okay for pprp which is an important amendment the minimum uh the minimum default is 10 lakhs maximum 1 crore for that pprp can be initiated who regulates the insolvency professional insolvency and bankruptcy board of india uh, they regulates the insolvency professionals and the power of board of director of a company undergoing cirp resolution process is executed by the resolutional uh, the the, resi- uh, the re- resolution professional so he is registered with the board right and he takes over the assets of the borrower okay uh he takes over the assets and he takes over the power of the board of directors okay who among the following has the highest priority workmen and the employees they got the highest priority both can be the answer in case of liquidation of assets 
द प्रोविजन ऑफ इंसॉल्वेंसी एंड बैंक करप्सी कोड शेल नॉट अप्लाई टू बैंक फाइनेंशियल सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स लाइक बैंक द कमेटी ऑफ क्रेडिटर कंप्राइज ऑफ ऑल फाइनेंशियल क्रेडिटर्स एंड नो इंडिविजुअल शेल इन रोल एज अ प्रोफेशनल मेंबर इफ ही इज नॉट एलिजिबल टू बी रजिस्टर्ड एज इंसॉल्वेंसी प्रोफेशनल विद द बॉर्ड बॉर्ड के साथ रजिस्ट्रेशन करना जरूरी है Uh, within how many days a liquidator shall distribute the proceeds from realization from the receipt of amount to stakeholder within 90 days a liquidator has to submit the money what is the role of information utility under ibc uh, to act as a central database for insolvency related information so all the information is with the information utility and what is the definition of related party uh, a really important question recently added to the question bank uh, what is related party in relation to corporate debtor means any person in whom the corporate debtor controls voting right on account of ownership or voting uh, agreement of more than 20% jo borrower hai wo is entity mein 20% ya usse zyada ka <coughs> voting right rakhta hai ownership rakhta hai that is related party okay so students i hope you like the today's session So you can join the SBI CBO 2023 course on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing the video classes, notes, quizzes, test series. This is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts, and I'm going to answer your doubts. Okay, so just drop me a WhatsApp message. The link to join the course is directly available in the description. You can join the course there. Okay, list of our successful students in the past. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I am really really happy for them all these students that took our courses in the past for various scale to scale 3 level exams and I am really really happy for them so you can be one of them in the future if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye